Good morning, my name is Paul Hersich. I'm a Ghana Nutterjury landscape architect and visual artist. And here we have the 2020 Guardian Menacha tram wrap. I think we're really lucky to have the Guardian Menacha tram wrap each year. Uh, it provides such a uh, in enjoyable experience for the people of Adelaide. It gets a lot of uh, attention on social media. It's just perfect for uh, expressing contemporary Aboriginal art in such a public realm. It's a good news story for people to talk about. It's really great to see people engaging with the tram each year. The artwork was in reinvigorated to include uh, the additional tram stops that are along North Terrace and King William Street and Festival Plaza. So it gives me great enjoyment to see the uh, people uh, pointing to their names and getting photos for their, in front of their language groups. For me, I enjoy doing the Guardian and Archer tram wrap uh, each year because it keeps uh, Aboriginal people uh, in the public realm, um, in, our own, in our own spaces, and also it helps to retain an awareness of the, all the main language groups that are in our state. People get quite emotional seeing their language group. We had um, some of the uh, female elders actually start crying because it's the first time they've seen their language group uh, in a public realm. So uh, for them it's just an amazing experience. It's uh, a living artwork as well so it can be uh, changing. I think it needs to be invigorated and refreshed to keep people uh, interested in it I guess. So the theme, theme for this year's Reconciliation uh, Week is we're in this together. Uh, the tram brings people together by um, being inclusive of all the 39 major Aboriginal language groups of the state. It also represents and expresses the story of Gadi, so the emu, uh, which once roamed through these, these city environments. And with the tram wrap, it wanted to create a, a new sense of uh, belonging and a new sense of enjoyment of seeing the Gardi Manacha tram um, go along the tracks through Adelaide. You know, there's a lot of art um, and uh, that the department does that has an uh, Aboriginal um, narrative to it. And it's t telling those stories of country, and it's telling those stories of, of people and culture, uh, which I find really exciting. Even though a lot of the reconciliation events have been cancelled for this year, I'd like to wish everyone a happy Reconciliation Week for 2020, and it'd definitely be one we won't forget. Natalia, thank you.